Hello everyone, welcome back to our third episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. I'm Daniela, and here is the Dakota Zoo. If you remember from our previous episode, we were losing money pretty fast, and we had actually added an iguana exhibit. What I noticed is I went down to about $2,000. I really thought that things were not looking good. So I moved the iguana exhibit over here, more towards the entrance of the True North Trail. Just because for now, I think people weren't wanting to walk all the way over here for the iguanas. So I think that's why we were losing money. So I thought maybe if we moved the iguanas over here, more people would come see them. And yes, as we can see, we have more donations coming through. There we go. So I'm hoping that this helps and we have been gaining a little bit of money. Oh, inspector has arrived. Let's see what they're gonna say. But I think the main thing that we need to do is we need to add another exhibit. We need to give people another reason to come see our zoo rather than just the Arctic wolves. So I was looking through the Animal Trade Center and I'm thinking, our new animals are going to be the American bison. So I actually have two females in our animal storage. We have Emberly and Yardley. Both have fairly good fertility, just not very good size or longevity. I haven't been able to find a male yet, because as you can see, the males are worth conservation credits, and we don't have that much right now. So I think I'm just going to create a female American bison habitat and hopefully we'll wait for some type of male and it can be they can have babies and bring us more money so we're definitely going to keep an eye out oh we have a male here Ooh, that's actually okay he's actually not that bad I let's just do it we'll adopt him awesome so now let's check out their zoopedia they need 420 meters squared of land, no water, no climbing, fairly large temperature range, and a grade 3 fence. So let's get started on that. I'm imagining that we're going to have them right here. So grade 3 would be the wood. Let's grab a habitat gate. And again, we want everything to be close. So we're going to add it right there. Perfect. And wood. Wood. Oh, why isn't this becoming wood? There we go. Wood. Awesome. So we're going to put... Let's start building their habitat. We'll add this one there. Here we go. Because they don't need a lot of space, I don't anticipate making this a very elaborate type of habitat, like with our Arctic wolves. We just want to make it a cozy habitat that takes up this area of, uh, of the zoo. I'm going to add that there. We'll move this this way. And then we can bring that here. Add this this way, this way. And then we'll bring this up. This is actually, this might be a fairly big habitat. Add that here, here. There we go. So we can definitely see that this habitat won't be as extravagant as the last one, but it's still important. We still want to make sure that our animals are happy and that they're they're comfortable so let's just add this 
before we forget into our work zone so we can actually have keepers come on in and I think we should put them into quarantine so we have our three American bison we're gonna move Bashiri move you into quarantine because we want to make sure that they that they are healthy when they come into our zoo delivery scheduled Emberly let's move you into quarantine and finally Yardley let's move you into quarantine okay now we just wait for them to to pass their tests and then they can be ready to go mechanic research done awesome almost done with our drink shops our gr green iguanas are doing well they haven't been mating which i think is very odd because let's go take a look at them we have theirs oh they're social halls why Social group is too large? Really? Huh. Did they have babies and we just not realize it? Let's check animals. Oh, they did! They have this buddy. Okay, can we move you to the trade center? Yeah. Awesome. Exhibit trading. Woo. Okay. We could do a trick, quick trade for some cash. Might be a good thing. Let's do it. Confirm. Okay, we got a little bit of money for that guy. Awesome. Now are they happy? Yes. All 100%. I did not. I must have missed that notification. Oh. Interesting. VIP guests, let's say hello. Hello to you. Get some conservation credits. Quarantine passed, ready to leave. Bash Yuri. They might change it to Bash. I kind of like, like the name Bash rather than Bash Yuri. Let's change that right now. Bash. Perfect. Okay, let's wait for the other two and then they can all, all go in together. One more passed. Now we're just waiting on the third. While we do this, let's also add glass. So people can can see the, the buffalo when they come over here because eventually we're gonna wanna have the iguana and then we'll have maybe some more food over here, some drinks, and I think we're going to need to add a toilet eventually. But we just need to make sure that we, ooh, nice, no crime for three months, and we get a, a nice chunk of change. Okay, so all of our animals have passed quarantine, so let's grab all of them, and let's move them into their new habitat. I think this is, this is starting to to look a lot better for us folks. We're gonna add a new animal, our American bison, gonna fix up a new habitat for them today in this episode. And I'm just super excited about it. Let's hopefully that our finances can keep going up instead of going down, which they are right now. And we can just keep going from there. Okay, here we go. First one's coming in. Yardly. Oh, let's take a pause before we miss the sun. And now look at that. Another hundred thousand. Oh, not a hundred thousand. I wish. Just one thousand dollars. So Yardly. Let's, uh, let's check on you. So your hard shelter's fine. You don't need any. Wow, your train's a hundred percent already? Okay. How about your environment? Perfect. Wow. I didn't think that this would be something that they liked. All right. I think I would like to change some things up a bit. 
let's see, are we in our water area? Yes, because we have our water treatment plant right there. So I think we can, let's add, let's add a tiny little river. You know what we could do? Hmm, should we add, let's see, how big is this? Yeah, it's, it's huge for them. So I don't necessarily think we need to expand it out here more, but should we maybe add a little, a little river? Or maybe we should just add a pond. I think, I think I have an idea. Let's, for now, let's just make this all short grass. Do they like short grass? Yes. Okay. Let's just make this whole thing short grass for right now. And now I think what would be super cool, let's grab our terrain tool. Oh, not that big. Just a little, a little one. We have, let's make, let's see, a little pond could be good. And then we'll make this a little bit smaller. And we can make, yeah, there's that. So it's a little, little type of, little pond sort of thing. And then I think we can build a super cool terrain type. So we're going to add this up here. Let's make this over here. And I imagine they, I think it would be super cool if we could have them climb up here. Here we go. Because like I said before, we want to, we want to have fun with the train because we are, we're in the taiga and we're going to have lots of mountains. So of course we want to we want to have fun with it. So let's maybe add it over here as well. We'll add this. Let's maybe expand this out this way. Come over here. Maybe add it more on this side, just so then people over here can see them. So let's, let's just get rid of, oops, let's get rid of this part. There we go. Flatten this back out. And then we'll make this area the big part, the connector. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's just make sure that they can be able to climb up here because that's the big thing that we want to make sure that they can uh, that they can climb up and they can get up top here. Let's just expand this a little bit more just so they have more a little more room to walk. There we go. I like that. But let's make it a Let's make this part a little funky. There we go. And then should we add another funky part? Maybe over here. Let's make this a little bit funky. Let's push that in. Let's make this part. Maybe one doesn't do anything. Two. Add this here, all right, and then make this come out there. Hmm, let's make it come out this way. A little more. Is that connected? A little bit. Hmm. I think that's a little too funky for me, folks. Let's uh, let's try to get rid of that.
I think that's fine. Just like that. There we go. Let's uh, flatten this back out again. Think flat. Perfect. And now maybe we should add just a little, a little hill right here. There we go. Okay. Now I wanna, we wanna add the rock. We'll make this rock here, rock. Make this rock. Just slight rock. Not a lot. There we go. And then we'll add just a little bit of soil by the water. Just a little. We don't want to entirely take up the whole river with soil. And then we'll add our short grass. Definitely want to have short grass by the glass so that people aren't, when they're trying to look into the, to see the bison, they're not completely taken away by long grass. Add this, we'll make this some rock. And then there we go. I actually think that looks kind of nice. Seems like a good habitat for them. Should we add some trees? I think so. So we go into nature, North America, and they actually prefer grassland. Is this it? There's no trees or anything? Just some reeds and goldenrod? All right, we can make that work. We can add some reeds just over here. Gotta kinda make it look pretty. We don't want it to be entirely bland. <laughs> we want it to look nice. Give them some pops of color. Do you think maybe we need a little bit more water? Not. I think. Ooh, the only next one is all the way up. And I don't really want them to have that much. Let's just see. Yeah. That's a, that's a no. No right there. Let's, uh... Let's bring it back. Let's fix this again. Make this a little bit of soil here. There we go. A little more soil. And then we'll fix it back up with our our short grass. There we go. Maybe a little bit of soil here. Perfect. Okay. Well, since they don't necessarily need or want any type of trees, I guess we don't need to add any. We'll just uh, we'll let the terrain be the main feature for them. Okay, they uh, they're pretty happy, so let's let's press play, and let's wait for the the next ones to come in. We have our habitat. Let's go into our species of our American bison. We're gonna have our food. Let's add the large one. Let's put them, we'll put it right there. And they have the water, so that's fine. Let's, actually, we have to make sure that they can go up onto places. Okay, so for right now, they can't come up up here. So let's try to fix that. They can't? Let's try that now. Let's see if they can go up. Yes. Awesome. Okay, that works. That's good. We like that. Let's keep working on their habitat. So they have the water. I didn't even look. Can they go into the water? Yes, they can. Okay, so they can drink. 
which is perfect. They don't really need, we should add a little bit, some bedding. Oh, and we already have some, so let's add a, a ball for them to play with. There we go. And should we add a block of ice? It doesn't really seem cold enough. We'll, we'll keep waiting, we'll wait. I feel like they should get some bedding though, but now I don't necessarily know where we should put it. Maybe we should put it over here. Maybe, I, oh, let's do this. Let's add this way, let's come up, flatten the terrain a little bit, a little bit this way. Let's connect it here. Oh, it's getting dark on us. Pop this up. Let's just put this here. Make it not 100%. I don't like how this pops up because I'm thinking we should put some a little bit of bedding here. There we go. And we'll just we'll connect this part from here to here. Okay. I think that works. Are they still able to to travel. Let's check. Where's our friends? Right there. Are you able to go through? Yes, but except for this part. Let's fix that. Flatten it out. Okay, let's try again. Can we travel? Yes. Uh-oh. Forgot about this. Quick pause. We don't want them to accidentally come up. So let's grab our terrain. And we are just going to make this part a little funky. There we go. Hopefully that works. Yes. Good. You know what, I think this is going to be a super cool terrain habitat for them. Which, I didn't think that it would. I thought that we were just going to have a, a simple habitat for our bison, but this actually turned out kind of cool. I, I actually really like it. I think the terrain part here looks super cool with the, the little water. And then now we're going to grab our habitat and we're going to give them a little bit of some bedding right by the, uh, the glass so people can, uh, can come in and watch. But that I don't like. Okay, we got to fix that now. Let's go back to flatten and let's flatten this. There we go. Are we? Yes, we are. So let's just make sure. So now they can't come up here, but that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Unless we just make it a little bit more like this. Now let's see. Can you come up here? There we go. We could probably put a toy up there, which I would think would be kind of cool once we start getting more enrichment. But while we were doing this, I know that I missed a few things. So let's just take a pause and let's take a look at our challenges. So awesome. We have at least 300 guests, 303. I will take it. Let's claim that reward. And it looks like we have two new challenges. First one is to increase American bison education rating to 4% and also increase our zoo reputation to two stars. 
we can definitely make those happen. So let's start by doing the education. So let's go into facilities and we're gonna have our viewing. So we have our education. So let's grab a speaker. We will just put that right there. Okay, I'm gonna make that the American bison. Here we go. You know, I actually, can we make it a little bit bigger? Bigger, bigger. Let's maybe move it more here and maybe move it more this way. And then just slightly over here. Keep going this way and just right there. I think I think that's pretty good. So we'll add that one. We'll duplicate it and we will add another one right here. Which is awesome. So I think that's pretty good for now. Should we add a little something here? But I'm not sure because I know that we wanted to add maybe the drinks and stuff. Should we add an extra path that comes around this way so that maybe people can see them eat? Should we do that? I think that might be good. And then eventually we can add another. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just fix the barrier right now. And we are going to add it here to here. And let's add this one as well. We're gonna make this glass. And we're going to grab our path here. And let's align the grid again. Oh, I guess they don't work. Okay, well, we'll just undo that. Forget the that. And let's have it come here. And then we'll get rid of that and we'll curve it. That didn't curve very well. Curve it here, this way, and then we'll have it be like this. We'll align the grid. And yeah, I think we could do that. I think that looks pretty nice. People can stand here and they can watch the, the bison eat do whatever they want and then eventually we could add another exhibit over here and you know what I think I like that I think it's gonna be really good and it'll look really nice so we'll keep that there and then we could add another speaker we'll add this one we could actually maybe even add two we'll add one right here there's our bison get the range Maybe we could move it. I don't want to make it too far. If we do that, could we lower the range? But then that's not hitting some parts. Let's try to move it over here. Okay. Uh, you know, I kind of liked it in the other spot right there. So let's take a look. Yeah, I kind of like it that way. And then we can just add a small one right here. Let's see. American Bison. And just make it... Come on. One more. Eight. There. I think that's pretty good. And then we can find one of our signs here. There we go. We can duplicate it, and then we can move it for the for the bison. Oh, that looks like it's not on anything. So let's move this. Where should we move it? Where's our education? So maybe we should move one right here. I think it could be good. Right there now we have to make this the american bison awesome 
duplicate another one. Let's check and see. So we can add one right right there. American Bison, good. Duplicate. Ooh, exit out of that. Grab the whole thing, duplicate, add it over here. There we go. Maybe we'll change that. Duplicate. And then we can add it. Right there. Let's check on them. There we go. Might want to move this one up a little bit. Just a little. There we go. Let's go back to our other ones. We might want to move this one over here just because it's kind of in the way. So yeah, I think that's a good plan. Let's move this. Move it back here. Turn it around. And just have it right there. Move it back a bit. Yeah. All right. That one's good where it is, and that one's good where that is. Now we have to make sure that we have the most important thing, which is the donation boxes. We're going to add one right here, I think would be a good spot. And also, let's add one right here. We have to move this because when I checked, it was in the air. So let's just move that down. Is it hidden? Yes. Okay. I think that this looks pretty good. We should actually probably add another donation box here. There we go. And then we can't forget about, where is it? Our bins, because we don't want to have high litter. We have bins over here, which is good. We'll just add another one here, and then we'll add another one right there. And then we will need some benches. We'll add two here. Add a couple right there, and we have benches there. Okay, folks, I think this looks pretty good. Let's play it out and see, see what they think. We have some more people. Hello to you. Thank you for the conservation credits. What's this? Our transformer. All right, call mechanic. Add you. We're going to have to add some scenery there. You know what? Let's just do that right now because I'm anticipating we're going to have a few more people out of the grassland and back to the taiga. Let's just add... Let's add some black spruce trees. Let's add you here and you there. Maybe the yellow ones. We haven't been using the yellow cedars all that much. So let's let's get on the yellow cedars. Because I actually kind of like how they look when it snows because they have the nice snow on on the Is the yellow cedar? Do they have Needles? I feel like they do. Needles or leaves. Whatever it is, they have snow on them. And I, I just think that looks really nice. Oh, we got our mechanic working on it. Perfect. Thank you. Make sure that we all have power. Oh, that was a fast fix. And we have our nature. Okay, I think that's about done. We have another challenge two different exhibit species. All right, so that's and the next thing that we're gonna need to work on. Don't need a vet surgery, not yet. Vet research is complete on the green iguana. So that means, Dante, you can start researching the American bison. Okay, folks, I think that's about it for this episode. We have our newest additions, Bash, Yardley, 
and Emberly are American Bison. Hopefully they can start bringing some more guests in. It looks, oh, just as I was about to say that we're increasing on money, we go straight down. But we're doing better, better than the start, which is a good thing. I feel like from this point we can only go up. Let's see what the guests think. Seems like they, they like it. I actually saw, where was it? Yeah, right here. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. So let's update this. I think, I think if we do $5, not 500, nobody would come. Five, $5. And I think staying $3 for a child, I think it's, it's pretty good. We don't want to be too expensive for a child ticket. And just based on other things, like when you go to the movies or just zoos in general, a lot of the time child prices are half off. 50% so we'll keep it like that and the only reason why I did five is because I don't think six is good right now we don't want to completely double the the price of the ticket so here we go I think I think everybody's pretty happy just the toilet we can add that in I think we'll add that in next episode but yeah we have our our American bison the newest additions to the Dakota Zoo. We'll take an overhead look of their habitat. I think it's pretty nice. Take a whole view of the zoo. Looks pretty good to me. I think that is where we're going to leave it today, folks. Thank you again for joining me in our series. If you... If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you have any type of thoughts or suggestions, leave a comment. I read all of them and I reply to all of them. So if you just want to say hi, say hi in the comments. I'll say hi back. Okay, I am going to leave that there. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Keep smiling, everybody.